Android 5.0 Key Lime Pie still uncertain. The iPhone 5 reaches 50 more countries, and rumors have an HTC Titan 3 in the works. I'm Jaime Rivera, wondering what Android 6.0 is going to be called, and this is Pocket Now Daily. So any bets on what the feature version of Android is going to be called? Everybody's calling it Key Lime Pie and even Google developer Manu Cornette at some point posted a cartoon confirming it, but as expected he withdrew the cartoon and not everybody's calling it Key Lime Pie anymore, but apparently either Google's running out of pastry names or give me another name that starts with a K. Sadly only Key Lime Pie is available that I know about, so let's see what happens. You know, the biggest irony of having Windows Phone 8 finally support microSD expansion is the fact that there is no flagship Windows Phone 8 device out there that supports it. And well, rumors have it that Microsoft is working on a new version of SkyDrive that will allow you to play music on it, so let's just say that this is a new way to have your music elsewhere, not on your device taking up space aside from Xbox Music. Really not sure how these things are going to integrate, it's very early to know what's going to happen, but hopefully it will be better than what we currently have. As I told you last week, once the iPhone 5 goes unlocked, it's all downhill from there when it comes to demand. Such is the case of the device now being available in 50 more countries, that's through the month of December. That even includes my country. And now iTunes is available in 56 more countries, including movies, music, and everything. So let's just hope that Apple's able to meet the demand that they're now offering because it's still in limited quantities in their releases in these countries. Now, recent rumors have HTC working on a new Windows Phone 8 device being dubbed the Titan 3, and judging by the fact that the Titan 2 was launched at CES last year, let's assume that it could happen next year on 2013 at CES, which happens on January. Now, think about this. If we have the 1X design and we have the Windows Phone 8 X design, what could we expect about the Titan 3? Most of us assume that this will be the variant of the Droid DNA coming to Windows Phone, and let's hope that happens because that design is awesomely cool. And finally, for the hot news of the day, Samsung seems to be hard at work with their new batch of devices for next year. First of all, we've got them testing a new GT5100 tablet that seems to be a smaller version of the Galaxy Note 10.1, so think about a 7-inch version of the Galaxy Note 2 or whatever they're going to call this thing. Hopefully it's going to be as hot. They're also working on a cheaper version of the Galaxy Note 2, which is something I'd really love to see. They're also working on the Galaxy S4, which is already assumed, and apparently they are also bringing a 13-inch tablet out of nowhere. Can't imagine something so big, and also obviously newer versions of their current lineup. So that leads me to the question of the day. Which is the perfect size tablet for you? In my particular case, I prefer the 7 inch form factor, but leave us a comment down below. And if you want an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks for watching.